UNESCO's ICT Competency Framework for Teachers emphasizes that it is not enough for teachers to have ICT skills and be able to teach them to their learners. Teachers need to be able to help the learners become collaborative, problem-solving, creative learners through using ICT so they will be effective citizens and members of the workforce. At UNESCO, we, we think that uh, the version 2 of ICT Competency Framework for Teachers uh, will be a very helpful tool for policymakers uh, all around the world uh, to improve uh, the quality of uh, teachers' uh, training in use of ICTs, in teachers' training, in using methodologies, uh, uh, stimulating use of ICTs for education in the classroom. This framework has been developed as a set of competencies that teachers need to integrate ICT into their practice and professional development to advance learning in the classroom and beyond, and a framework to extend teachers' professional development in pedagogy, collaboration, leadership, and innovative school development using ICT. It also provides guidelines for identifying and or evaluating learning materials or teacher training programs on the use of ICT in teaching and learning. Let's have a closer look at the framework itself. The framework firstly addresses all aspects of a teacher's work, namely understanding ICT in education, curriculum and assessment, pedagogy, ICT, organization and administration, and teacher professional learning. Furthermore, it's arranged in three growth phases to ICT integration that is, three successive stages of a teacher's development. As one progresses from one phase to the other, the activities demand greater higher order thinking skills and teaching competencies. Thus, they move from basic comprehension on issues relating to ICT to finally reinterpreting their educators' responsibilities so as to leverage ICT tools in unique ways to enhance teaching and learning. The first, Technology Literacy, enabling teachers to use ICT in order to enhance teaching and learning practices in the classroom. Secondly, Knowledge Deepening, enabling teachers to facilitate learning so that learners acquire in-depth knowledge of their school subjects and apply it to complex real-world problems. And thirdly, Knowledge Creation, enabling learners to create the new knowledge required for more harmonious, fulfilling and prosperous societies. The trouble is that we've got to have the type of professional development that changes that learning for teachers so that they can feel comfortable in delivering that style of learning. The UNESCO ICT Competency Framework for Teachers is key because it shifts the paradigm it moves from being a deficit model of training teachers to being a competency-based model that looks at what are the competencies that teachers have and allows them to develop the gaps between where they are and what proficiency looks like. And it does it in a highly visible and transparent way, making the learning more easy and more powerful for the teachers themselves. So we really have to move away from this notion of just training teachers to use technology to making sure that teachers have the competencies to be proficient in the use of ICT in deep pedagogies in their classroom. It encourages an approach to teacher development that uses these aspects to demonstrate directly the educational benefit that can be derived from ICT. 
Significantly, instead of a software tool approach that characterizes most ICT and education curricula, this framework provides a solidly educational context for the development of ICT skills. Governments and institutions are encouraged to mirror this development path of the framework. For example, certificate diploma level courses embrace the proficiency levels of the technology literacy cycle, bachelor level study that of knowledge deepening, and postgraduate and advanced in service courses offered to experienced teachers align well with the knowledge creation approach. We are all in agreement that the successful integration of ICT into teaching and learning depends on three aspects. The first one is the teacher's ability to create a learning environment in the classroom so that ICT is being used seamlessly in the teaching and learning environment. The second one is school managers' ability to create an enabling environment for teachers to use ICT. And the last one is the technical and pedagogical support that's been given to teachers to use ICT so that they don't have problems in integrating ICT into teaching and learning. Core supports all three of these aspects. We have embraced the UNESCO competency framework for teachers and we have developed three sets of materials that can be used in ICT integration. The first one is the Commonwealth Computers Navigator Certificate or the CCNC that can be used for technology literacy. The second one is the Commonwealth Certificate for Teachers ICT Integration or short the CCTI that can be used both for technology literacy and knowledge deepening of the unit framework and the last one is the instructional design tool that was developed to assist in development of learning resources materials are available as open education resources to adapt adopt or use as is and can be used as part of the existing offering at the institution or as a new qualification or you can even adapt it as an in-service training for teachers. You will find all these materials on the call website. You are welcome to use them and let us know how it can be used in your institution.